All right, so this is right when you first walk in. There have been a lot of recent renovations here. I'm very familiar with this floor plan. This is a very popular floor plan in this area. Decent height ceilings. Okay, here's kind of a formal living area. They did um, vinyl. The windows are original, but the roof is brand new. And the soffit and everything outside looks good. So here's kind of your formal sitting area. That's my sister from New York running out of the video. <laughs> Um, so you have a, you know, 18 inch tile throughout this area. The kitchen has really nice upgrades, really nice finished cabinetry. Go. The uh, stove area is a little smaller, but well appointed, really nice backsplash, updated stainless steel appliances, LED track lighting. HVAC is in here. Let's see what the age is on. Oh, she's old. Um, 2002. So HVAC is definitely at the end of life. But again, this is priced in the 280s. Fully finished and you will absolutely be obsessed with the yard. Typically, this is a Florida room. Um, they have finished this one out pretty nicely. Nice finishes. So you have a proper family room. Down through here, you have almost a little butler's pantry, which is nice. This is where your washer and dryer go, right here. There have not been any plumbing updates in the home. And then typically the panel is here, but let's see if we can, it's not here in this case, so we will find out where it is. They've converted this into storage. Here's your garage. It is a one car garage in this case. It does have a side exit door. Um, abundant ceiling fans. <laughs> okay, so they moved the panel out here, so that's good. That means the panel has undoubtedly been upgraded. Um, we do, we have a square D in great condition. Water heater. Um, this, is, this is nice. And it does not have the expansion tank, but it does have a drainage pan. Okay, we'll come back through. So again, walking through the butler's pantry, through your kitchen. The kitchen is not huge, but it is very functional. Through your formal dining, we'll go down the hall. All the bedrooms are at one end of the home. Again, this bathroom has been recently updated. Okay, they did a nice job, nice garden tub. Everybody does like one, one bathtub in the home just in case littles come over to play or something. Okay, you have a bedroom here, it's very good size. As you can see, their HVAC ducts are in these little pop downs in the ceiling. That's typical of this floor plan. It's that way you get the higher ceilings, um, which in an older home like this is great. Good closet space. Laminate floors. Okay, there's that. So again, I mean, it's it's an older home, so it does have just a little bit here and there, a little wear and tear, but everything has pretty much been upgraded with the exception of the windows and the HVAC. Okay, another very good size room. Laminate floors. And then over here to the master. They did a nice master walk off to the pool. And you have a walk-in closet. Okay. Master's plenty big for a king size bed. Okay, and then here we are in master bath. Nice step down walk in shower. Upgraded. Nice built in upgrades. Okay. I'm about to go gaga over this yard, I can tell. We will go out this way. So, again, all three bedrooms at this end of the house. Then we walk into this extension area. Got into the little shiplap craze. <laughs> Looks cute though. Really nice space. It is properly under air. You do have a drop down there. Here we are. This is all pavered. Properly drained. Peaceful as all get out. 
That bamboo is awesome. Um, of course, one of the things with the amount of trees, there will need to be some regular clean out of the pool cage. As you can see, it's already collected quite a bit. So that would definitely be a maintenance thing that would have to happen quarterly, something to think about. Ooh, they piped an outdoor shower. There's the master slider again. Okay, and then I like what they did here because you have all of this and then they actually extended it over here so that you have a fully covered area very nicely done and that again comes off of that family room so you can walk straight out for you know barbecuing and table over here and then keep this to loungers and things like that i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the backyard um because i don't want the video to go too long and i do have one of the front of the house for you so again the only things really the windows and the hvac we, we, that was just my stupidity the door works fine <laughs> um again steve and Diane would love it back here look at that beautiful 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 okay Really well arranged, super cute fireplace. You have a shed, which is awesome. Landscaping is very tasteful, very minimal, but you know, I mean the yard goes all the way over to that fence line. I really like the way this lot is laid out. And then here's your canal behind. You can see the other houses, but again, it's super quiet back here. The oak trees with the Spanish moss are just gorgeous. Again, the lot goes all the way over there. But it, it does not, I mean, it doesn't even look like there, there is irrigation back here, but just because of the way that the oak leaves fall and stuff, it's not really even needed. It's just really natural, kind of organic and relaxing. So that's that.